Have you ever heard a plant cry? Well, now's your chance. A recent New York Times article says, when some plants are hydrated or under some other kind of stress, they cry a mournful melody made of ultrasonic clicks. Let's listen to them cry. So what did you just hear? These sounds did come from a plant. It was actually tomato plants, and they were stressed because they hadn't been watered. And as they dry up, these kind of sounds start emanating from the plant. So they are real sounds. They're ultrasonic sounds, so you and I can't hear them, but with special microphones, the researchers were able to pick up the sounds. When they measured a healthy plant that had been well watered, they produced about one click an hour. When they measured stressed plants, either from dehydration or cutting of the leaves, they produced about 30 clicks an hour. The New York Times article concluded that the plants were crying. The stress was affecting them, and so they were reacting and crying, and this is the sound of how they cry. Did you hear the plants cry? The answer to that is no. Another video I've seen claimed that plants scream when they're stressed. You don't hear screams either. Now, I'm not saying that because the sounds don't sound like cries or screams. I'm saying that because the plants actually didn't do any of this. The plants actually don't even know it's happening. It's important to ask the question, did the plants make the sound or did we just record the sound? And in this case, the plants didn't make the sound. What happens is that a plant is normally quite turgid. It's full of water. And as we stress it, it has less water inside, and so it goes limp. And you've all seen that. The researchers that did this work came up with the most plausible explanation. Now, they don't know for sure, but this is their guess. The sounds are due to cavitation. What that means is that there's little air bubbles inside the plant. And those air bubbles are moving around and they're bursting and collapsing. And the activity of those air bubbles is causing the sound. Now, this is very similar to some other sounds you've heard. How about a gurgling stomach? What causes that? Is that you and I actually making the sound or does it just happen? Well, it just happens. It's the liquid and the gases in our stomach. They're being turned around by the muscles. And these air bubbles in our stomach are cavitating. They're making sound, and we hear that. Another analogy is the water pipes in your house. If you turn the water off and do some plumbing repair, and then you turn the water back on, you hear all kinds of noises in the pipes, all kinds of clangings and bangings. Well, these are noises caused by trapped air bubbles in the pipes. And they're moving around, and until we get them out of the system, we hear noises. The same thing is happening inside a plant when it's stressed, either because it hasn't been watered, or if we cut the leaves off. If we make a cut in a the leaf, then the plant sucks in air, and that air gets trapped inside, and now we have air bubbles. So the sounds you heard are real, but it's not the plant really making them, and it certainly isn't the sound of a plant crying. Now, if you've spent some time on the internet, you might have come across another plant, and it's claimed that this plant also cries. And this is the mandrake plant. When you pull it out of the ground, it screams at you. Now, the reality is that this has been a myth about this plant for a while now, but the Harry Potter series have made it much more popular. Here's a short clip from one of their movies. People have seen that crying plant and have now made all kinds of videos about it. But it's a complete myth. Now, you might hear some noise as you pull this plant up and the media around the plant is moving around or you snap some roots. But there's real no crying sound coming from this plant. It's all made up. Now, if you'd like to learn more about plant myths, check out my books, Garden Myths, or have a look at these videos. There's hundreds of gardening myths in them. Happy garden.